this the next great American adventure? And for SpaceX, the private company hoping to keep the US in orbit, there's a lot at stake. If all goes well, their Falcon 9 rocket and its Dragon capsule will be the first private spacecraft to rendezvous with the International Space Station. In commercial terms, it's an incredibly ambitious goal. We really stand in awe of uh, having the opportunity to, to, to attempt this. Um, this is a test flight. Uh, what's important from a SpaceX perspective on a test flight is to make sure we learn something. SpaceX isn't the only company vying for multi-billion dollar contracts. Providing cheap and effective ways of getting into low orbit and returning to Earth is a rapidly emerging market. Competition here is incredibly important. It forces SpaceX to be better. It forces our competitors to be better. And at the end of the day, it's going to end up with the absolute best vehicles. We're going to have the most advances because people have to. Because if we don't do the best job, somebody else will. SpaceX says they hope to send astronauts into low orbit by 2015. But that won't help the thousands of employees who were laid off when the multi-billion dollar a year space shuttle program ended. Former NASA worker Chris Milner was one of those who lost his job. And he's one of many here that thinks spaceflight should remain a government-run program. There is one thing that everybody knows, that we are not launching manned flights at this present moment, and we can't. And that's not, as far as I'm concerned, that's not good uh, for our country and for the local area, because that means there's still people out there looking for jobs. When the space shuttle program ended, many said that was it for America's dominance in space. And whilst that may be true, this Falcon 9 rocket represents the beginning of a new era. Some people are even calling this a private space race. This is a much smaller, much leaner, and of course, much cheaper operation. For commercial spaceflight, this could be a defining moment. And for the US, a viable way to stay in orbit. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Cape Canaveral, Florida.